They have Curry. Curry screens for Thompson again. He fires again. He's good again. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I mean, they are just deliberately. Wow. Yeah, trying to get him to 50. To get, yes. to get him. 52 points. He's got 52. All right, man. First of all, make sure you guys are following my Twitter. I'm reacting to every NBA thing that happens on Twitter. That's where I'm at all the time. So if you want to see my thoughts, interact with me, make sure you follow my damn Twitter. I just got finished watching this game, and it, it was an exceptional game. But there's only one player and one person I can think about as I watch this game, and it's Klay Thompson. You know, Draymond Green is amazing, and... You got to appreciate Draymond for the stuff he does. I always call him the ultimate utility man because he does every little scrappy thing no one wants to do. Fighting for loose balls, setting up the offense, being a leader. I feel like a big part of Andrew Wiggins' development defensively is Draymond setting that standard. But the one thing Draymond kills me with and ultimately hurts the Warriors with is the fact that he can't shoot. And I mean, he's pathetic. Somehow, after that 2015-2016 73-9 season, Draymond has progressively gotten worse shooting threes, and you could argue he's gotten better looks playing with Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson, and Stephen Curry. If Draymond was able to hit a three or two tonight, bro, they win this game. If Draymond was able to shoot 38% plus getting these wide open, butt naked ass looks this season playing with Stephen Curry, bro, I think they would be literally finals favorites. And this is where Klay Thompson would be so crucial for this team. Bro, nobody, nobody is hurting more than Klay Thompson watching this team and knowing how pivotal he would be if he was actually playing. Stephen Curry has to work so damn hard just for this offense to have a pulse. I literally just tweeted, bro, he's damn near out there running track meets, running routes, just for this offense to have some type of fluidity. Klay Thompson, he fixes all of that. And, and remember, don't forget all the records and all the things he's done, barely even putting the ball on the floor. He fixes all of that. Now that Andrew Wiggins has grown defensively and offensively, playing in such an established culture like Golden State, now that some of their young players that we didn't even know their names last year, now that they got the chance to play with Stephen Curry for a full season and actually develop some type of rapport, that's all an advantage for Golden State next season. Next year, they have seven of their most significant players all locked up under contract. All they need is Klay Thompson to come back and just be 90% of Klay Thompson, which he will. Warriors fans, bro, they should be very, very optimistic for the foreseeable future. The West, the West is pretty much open. The Lakers, even them, as quote-unquote dominant as they can be, you see those holes kind of opening up. Anthony Davis, I mean, he's great when he's on, but he's very, very fragile. And as we've seen in that first half against Draymond Green, bro, he could be maintained at times. LeBron, amazing, and he is amazing, but he is aging, bro, and I didn't even mean to rhyme. He is aging. Next year, he's going to be in his 19th season. I respect LeBron, but bro, the dude is human. And the rest of the West, I mean, it's one big ass question mark. Like the Clippers, we have to see what Kawhi is going to do in his future and how they're going to look this year. Utah, we still have to see. Denver, they're still very young. I mean, it's a question mark. And Golden State, they're the only one that's proven to me and has championship DNA. They just got hurt. If Stephen Curry did this, and I already told y'all this was the best season of his career, I don't care. Look at that video. And I, I told y'all, I broke down why. If he did this with the coverages he faced and all the double teams, the triple teams, and barely having players that can consistently knock down threes, bro, imagine what he's going to do with Klay Thompson. It, like, come on, bro. Like, that's, that's a championship team in my opinion. If you guys like this video, like this video, I just watched that game and the only player I can think about, every time they showed him, I was just like, damn, man, Draymond can't hit. Um, I like Andrew Wiggins. I like Jordan Poole. They hit at times. Kent Bazemore was pretty good at times. But Klay Thompson is that guy. Like, he's the missing piece, clearly. He's the one player that can consistently hit those threes. And that backcourt is going to be lethal next year, bro. I just can't wait. Um, if you guys like the video, man, like I said, like the video, follow my Twitter, man. Follow my Twitter. You can't really say you rock with me if you don't follow my Twitter. Uh, do all that great stuff, guys. And until next time, as always, stay tuned.